From United Nations Television, this is UN in Action. The lives of Esther Kojo and her baby were saved at the last minute. The delivery started at home with no medical help, but it soon got complicated. Riding on a motorcycle taxi, Esther, in full labor, was rushed to the nearest hospital two hours away, where a caesarean was performed. This is my ninth child, following the eighth, of which four are alive and four died. The eighth I gave birth to at home. My neighbors were the ones helping me. Every day, 1,000 women die in pregnancy or childbirth worldwide, often because they deliver at home with no skilled birth attendants by their side. According to the authorities, 80% of all women in southern Sudan give birth at home without the help of a midwife, and the region suffers from one of the highest maternal death rates in the world. Luca Tombekana Monoja is South Sudan's Minister of Health. We have less than 10 midwives for a population of 10 million people. But change is underway. The first college for professional midwives was opened in Juba in May 2010. 18 students are currently enrolled in the three-year diploma program. A shorter 18 months training for community midwives started in August 2008. Janet Michael, the Director of Nursing and Midwifery, explains. Right now we have about 110 graduates from that school. But of course we know that uh, their number is not enough to cover. And of course the skills that they have are not also enough to manage all midwifery services. The government has invested in several teaching hospitals in southern Sudan in order to increase the availability of community midwives. UNFPA, the United Nations Population Fund, helps with the curriculum and provides midwifery trainers. The main reason the women in the schools want to become midwives is to improve the health in their communities and save the lives of women and babies. Florence Adom is a midwife in the small village of Magui. In my village, women are suffering a lot. There are no midwives in Magui, there are few. So I decided to become a midwife in order to help them. Most of the women they used the, to deliver at home and we are getting a lot of complications and women are dying because of anemia, abortions, septic, septic abortions also. In southern Sudan, there are very few roads and transportation is difficult. Three quarters of the population lack access to any form of medical facility or have to travel far to get it. 70% of all women have no access to medical care. It is not easy to deliver women under trees. It's not easy to train midwives under trees, but those are our challenges. The Southern Sudan Ministry of Health wants to open at least two and preferably five more midwifery colleges. Officials hope that international partners will help them achieve this ambitious and life-saving goal. Our sisters are dying. These are people, they have names. Therefore, for us to reduce this death, we need more midwives. Globally, 350,000 midwives are required to live up to the international goal of achieving safe motherhood. 3,000 are needed in southern Sudan. The progress made so far is an example of how these figures could be achieved with the right political will and investments. Today, there are too few midwives, but soon there'll be a lot more. This report was produced by Sonia Ristich for the United Nations.